lady in this community, so a happy Women's Month to her. Uh, she has a show at Resident Culture Girls Women's Month show on March 14th. You can check her out. Central Avenue Resident Culture. Um, not in Pineville, but in the proper Charlotte. Um, give a warm welcome to Brooke Hayers! What is up, Pineville? Oh my god, that was negative. It's cool, the mic unplugged. It was done with it too. Fuck me, guys. How we doing? are shooting out the bottom. It's another when they start shooting out the top. So, uh, waking up every morning, having a stiff cup of coffee and a tetanus shot. That was how I started my days. Yeah, so I got a new mattress. And uh, I really went all out. I got like the fancy like hotel kind of mattress. Yeah, good for sleeping. Uh, <laughs> Good for fucking. You know what I meant. You know what I meant. You know what I meant. Um, I got an adjustable bed frame. I bought a hospital bed. I did. And can I just say, highly recommend it. All right. I think technology is great. You're telling me I don't have to sit up while I'm working from home, <laughs> playing Stardew Valley on my Switch. I mean working. I mean working. It's most of my job nowadays. It's cool. Um, I, I stayed at an Airbnb though recently and they like, didn't, it's like they didn't know that I come from a household with a fancy mattress now. <laughs> and they weren't prepared for me. Um, so I had to like sit myself up in the mornings. <laughs> Yeah, and it was actually, it was actually really traumatic. And, um, no, it was terrible. I was just like, I felt like sleeping on a mattress that doesn't move now feels like trying to read an analog clock. Like, I can do it, but fuck, man. <laughs> All right. You guys got a little bit of me. This is what I'm like. Yes. I'm quirky. <laughs> this is uh this is what I'm like all the time, I promise. It doesn't stop. Some people say they wish it would. Um, <laughs> I love you. Can I just say that? <laughs> you guys gotta step it up, because like her back there. <laughs> she's winning and it's not a competition. Um, yeah, I'm a weird I'm a weird person though I am. I, I know that about myself. There's some good things I think to being a weird person though. Like I'm very self-aware. You know, like I know who I am, I know how I come off to people, I know what I look like. I look like a couple things, I'll share some with you. Um, I get that I look like someone who has written all of the Harry Potter fan fiction. <laughs> But like, especially the sex ones. I talk a lot about wands. That's a penis joke. You guys got there. Yeah, you got there. You get 
Every time I have to dab someone up, I have a little panic attack inside. But you handled that so well. Thank you. Um, anyways, uh, what else do I look like? Uh, I get that I look like I was born inside of a Panera Bread. That's just that's what I look like. I got a round, inviting face. It's very friendly, I'm like a little cherub. Getting all up in your business. Um, what other weird things do I have to say to you folks? Um, I actually, so I have one of those faces, speaking of my round, adorable cherub face, I have one of those faces where I look a lot younger than I actually am. Um, I know we struggled with audience participation, but does someone want to yell out, like, how old do you think I am? 32. 30, 32. 32. 24, 28, 29, 26 and a half, very specific, love you. Um, so I'm actually 40 years old. Yes, thank you. Yes, thank you. Um, I am lying. Uh, that is a lie. Um, but I've always wanted to know what it felt like to be the is 40 <laughs> anyone's ever seen so thank you for giving me that gift tonight that was great um she was like really convinced she was like i fucking got her <laughs> meanwhile i'm like me too bitch <laughs> oh god that was fun um yeah i like lying i think lying's like a little fun <laughs> i know we're like not supposed to say that but it's true i just think it's kind of fun to lie a little bit in public. Have you ever like lied to a cashier? Like one time I was buying applesauce and she was like, oh, my kid loves these. And I was like, ah, oh, me too. My kid loves, I don't have children. <laughs> you can do that, it's free, it's legal. Um, I used to do this lie when I was in college. Uh, <laughs> I used to do this lie, my friends and I would go to this bar on Friday, Saturday nights. It was like a classic college situation. You get drunk. You dance with guys, you flirt with them. Um, I am not much of a dancer, if you can believe that. <laughs> Something happens to my body when you're like, hey, Brooke, let's dance, where this is my body's natural organic reaction. It goes like this. <laughs> and what the fuck is that? <laughs> Um, it feels weird, it feels wrong inside my body, and I know how it affects people. <laughs> Negatively. <laughs> um, but I, I, I'm very good at the, the charming and the flirting. The sort of mysterious flirting with the men and the charming them, and I get them to trust me eventually over time. And they always ask me the same question. You know, you're at an event where there's dancing, do you want to go dance? And I would do this thing, this is where the lie came in. I would do this thing where I would um, go. <laughs> oh my God. Thank you, thank you so much for asking me that. That's so nice of you. I just, um, <laughs> I've been having such a good time with you. You're such a nice guy. I really am enjoying our time together. I just, I can't dance with you because I have a wooden leg. <laughs> My leg is made of wood, <laughs> so I can't dance with you, sweetheart. Um, sometimes I do that joke, and like I can tell by some people's faces, they're like, Brooke, you shouldn't joke uh, about people who don't, who have less limbs than you. And here's the thing that I have to say to that, which is, folks, um, Prosthetics are like the only thing in medical history that in the past like 150 years have made leaps and bounds. Like people have magnets in their brains now with computer chips that connect to robot arms. People are cyborgs now, which means that if someone does have a wooden leg, that's an aesthetic choice that they made. <laughs> and I will judge them for that. <laughs> Guys, that's my time. Thank you so much.
for Brooke Hayhurst.